Hey there, Cancer. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll go ahead and do a um, reading for partnerships. Um, this may or may not resonate with everybody here. For some of you, this is a person on your mind that you haven't been with or maybe you're taking a break. But these readings are for partnerships, so hopefully good things come out. Here we have the card of strength coming out for you. And then let's look into your partner. For cancer, please feel free to like the video if this resonates. It does help my channel grow. All right. You have the five of wands here for this person, cancer. So strength in the five of wands. You, you may be in a certain situation right now with a partner where situation where your where your experience right now. There's a little bit of conflict. There's a little bit of butting heads. People not um, seeing eye to eye on certain things. Um, but I feel like that's going to be changing. Here we have the. I'm going to pull your energy first. You have the world. You have the ten of swords coming out in reverse. Two cards coming out here. You have the two of swords and the three of pentacles here. So your energy here, Cancer, um, yeah, to be in this connection, you've had to bite your tongue a little bit. You've had to be patient with this person. I feel that you see that there is a shift and change in this person's life, or maybe this is in your life where you're letting go of bad habits. You're letting go of problems and situations that have been very painful to you. You come out with the world, the universe, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this is this is overcoming a really big hurdle in your life where things have been very difficult and um, painful here for you. Um, and with the Two of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles, it shows me that like you are maybe being a little bit hesitant or being a little bit patient to truly connect. Okay, truly connect here because that three of pentacles is all about unity. It's all about working on the same page with somebody. It's about like, you know, having um, goals that intersect with another person. It's being in tandem, working in tandem with somebody. And here with the two of swords, this is often talking about where like things are either at a stalemate or they have been at a stalemate. They've been, uh, we've been quiet. We're not actively making a decision to do something. It's like there's some sort of like to really get on the page or the same page with somebody or like to really join forces here, it feels like you need to have a break. You need to have a time out. There's something here where you need to regenerate your situation, your life, your spirit, your, your goals. You need to regenerate this energy here, cancer. And you need to keep yourself kind of, um, what does this look like? <laughs> it's like, if you look at this card, like, yes, we got the two of swords, but it almost seems like it's around like a fenced barbed wire. Like it's like your protection of yourself is massive right now before we try to build on any type of foundations with a person. And for the three of pentacles to be showing up in this type of depiction, like being built layer by layer by layer, it takes work. It takes a lot of effort and work. And right now it feels like you're not in the position to be doing that. Um, even if it's like looming over your head here. So you're working on you, Cancer. Um, maybe this is bringing some conflict to this person, you know? Let's see this person of yours. Show me this Five of Wands for Cancer's person. Ace of Wands coming through here for them. Ten of Cups. And Star energy between the two of you is the three of wands let's push that down a little bit all right cancer so it's interesting energy it's not bad at all uh this person loves the hell out of you uh they want you to recover they want you to have the best of the best they're probably dealing with their own inner in turmoil right now they're probably worried about like how do I how do I help this person heal? How do I help take off some of the burden? How how can I be present for this? 
How can I love this person more? Even if it's a challenge to me, how can I love this person more? It's interesting. Because we've got a big sun here in this uh, Five of Wands. Five of Wands indicates conflict. It indicates combative energy. But here it's almost as if like, okay, yeah, things are not pretty. I get that. But we also have a lot of clarity here with the sun. And so it's highlighting what is necessary for the situation to um, have better outcomes rather than like be in a tizzy. It feels like if this person was frustrated with you for not like moving faster, for not healing faster, for whatever these issues are, um, it's, it's dropping because this person would rather be helpful to you than a hindrance. This person loves the hell out of you. Some, some of you, this may be a same sex relationship here. You can see the rainbows and two women kissing, um, Either way, this situation, this person, this person wants to be healing to you, Cancer. They love you very much. And it's a patient progress here with the Three of Wands. This growth, 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 patience and progress, okay? So let's clarify here. Show me what... Show me the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Three of Wands, the Three of Wands. This is setbacks here, Cancer. It's like some strange setback here has caused you to... <sighs> Maybe this is like a repeating situation in your life that um, I feel you are winning now. Maybe in the past this has taken a lot of your energy because it's like you get to a certain point of healing and then it falls back into it. You know, and if you look at this particular card, come here. This Ten of Swords ruin, if you look at the content of the card, there's a lot of self-abusive type of energies. There's a lot of addiction type of energies, being in very, very ugh, type of energy. Um, here it's in reverse, which is great. So you're coming out of it with the world here, the universe. You're stepping away from that. And this Strength card is also saying, use your time. Be patient with your time and your process and progress because the energy here is one that is supportive of you getting on your feet, supportive of you healing physically. Um, it's time to be patient with the process here. And with that Ten of Swords there, I love that the Three of Wands is here because it's here in your center of the reading here. So it's saying... The patience is the process, is the progress, is the outcome. Like there's, there's, <laughs> you will be um, climbing right into that fire soon enough, Cancer. Um, fire, fire, fire. It's, it's a metaphor. Like you will be f climbing into the flame soon enough, but right now is the time for healing and recharging. Show me the world. The Emperor in Reverse. So with the Emperor in Reverse, sure, it could be another person if this is what you've been dealing with. Perhaps a father who's a very problematic person. But the Emperor in Reverse, especially like with this ending, with the Ten of Swords here, it's almost as if we're like really taking out certain types of um, mindset, certain types of conditioning, addiction, things that have ruled our lives before. It's like we're, we're finally releasing that energy so that we can have a clean bill of health. We can have a freedom from that. So it's not bogging us down. It's not, it's not dictating how we go about our lives and the decisions that we make. You know, it's, it's challenging that it's having the strength and fortitude to challenge that and put it in its place because that's where it belongs in its place, not behind the wheel. Yeah. Even when I say that we have temperance at the bottom of the deck. So this is all about healing, balance, fortitude, release, being in situations that are far better for you than what they have been. Show me the two of swords here for cancer. And you've got the five of swords coming here with the two of swords. Um, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. This person, I feel like they get it. They get it. They know where you're at. Um, it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to be selfish, Cancer. Um, especially here with the five of swords and the two of swords. Add them together. Yes, seven of swords. But what I'm getting is 
a intentional pulling your energy away from everything, everybody. And um, I feel like this situation, it's a healthy, uh, it's a healthy form of selfishness, I feel. Um, the, the pentagram, if you look deeply in the sky over here, there's a pentagram. It's in reverse. So when the pentagram is in reverse, oftentimes that's going to be where we are self-serving. That can often come out negative or positive. It depends on what we're healing. With the two of swords here, though, I feel like we're being very cautious in how we go about things because we don't want them to come out problematic. We also need our time and space. And with the Six of Cups, I feel like this person will understand that and acknowledge it. Show me the Three of Pentacles. For Cancer. Yeah, Five of Wands coming out in reverse here. They have the Five of Wands. So you're on your way to feeling better. You're on your way to communicating more effectively. Um... And I feel here that this situation will reconnect or at least like the, I'm, I'm uh, why am I seeing that or hearing that dial tone? It's like the dial tone is just like, it's like that busy dial tone, like you're unavailable. <laughs> it's kind of the, the energy that I'm getting with this for some reason, like auditory. So it's like a dial tone. Um, you're offline. You're offline. You're checked out. You're offline. This person loves the hell out of you. They get it. Um, with the five of wands in reverse, so to reclaim this energy with this connection to unify again, it's a process. It's a process here. I feel like with the two fives here, with the five of swords, the five of wands, you're going through a massive life change process that's actually quite uncomfortable. Um, and it's something that you need to be mindful of how you take your time in that. Okay. This whole thing, three of wands, you have the three of wands over here. It's all about patience and timing. Can you show me um, this partner of cancer, the ace of wands here? Yeah, you have the six of cups. So this person is supportive. They want you to have your health, your longevity. This person also may be um affording you time to be creative or collaborating with your creativity as well um either way though this is a very very healthy and healing person that has your best intentions at heart uh this is a partnership that is very much rooted in love and also the appreciation for the soul connection Some of the ten of swords in the nine of pentacles right now um in a way, I feel like this person also is kind of taking um, a position when it comes to their, maybe it's finances, but it's more like their resources. I don't think that they're like going, I don't think that you're sucking them dry, Cancer. I feel like this energy is one of support and they get to dip into whatever resources they have as well. And that doesn't just mean finance. That also means their energy to be present with you, the love that they give you, the um the aspects of them that make them them, but that also work in unison with you. I feel like this person has a very warm and encompassing love for you, and it shows they just want you to get better. They just want you to have healing here. And with the Ten of Cups, as well as the Nine of Pentacles, they see the struggle within the healing, but they have all the love in the world for you, and they know that with love, this process is slow but it also can be turned upright so that you're functioning in a position that is much better for you. Sometimes we have to take one for the team, and I feel like your partner's doing that, Cancer. There. It fell out reverse. We'll leave it as reverse right now. The lover's in reverse, the star... Um, I feel like this person recognizes the healing in everything that's happening here. You also have temperance again at the bottom of the deck with the star, the lovers in reverse. They're putting themselves on a hold. They're putting you on. Eh. They're putting themselves and their needs on hold right now, which is kind of interesting, Cancer. Um, this is a decision. Doesn't mean the love isn't there, but this is a decision for them. It's like how they cope through this situation. They have to kind of like turn off a little bit. Okay, they can't just be everything all at once. 
this person needs to kind of like titrate their energy with you. Um, doesn't mean they're not present, doesn't mean they don't love you, but for them to be functioning adequately in this situation, and also if you have like, your guard up, or if you have like your boundaries up, like this person is making a head over heart decision to put themselves, uh, uh, how do I want to say that, put themselves in a position to accommodate that, but also to not overstep anything with you they want to they want to create um temperance with you they want healing they want rejuvenation they want their partner like at full capacity they want their partner at full capacity and this person loves you enough to allow you to go through whatever healing this is um yeah this is, a, this is really nice actually it's very supportive so this is what i have for you cancer i hope that this is helpful um feel free to like share subscribe if it resonated and check your other signs if it didn't take care bye